What's up my fellow collectors, Lace Reviews here and I'm Lincoln. Today we have a massive Funko Pop haul. We've got some Funko Pops from X-Men 2 and X-Men 3, The Last Stand. So let's get right to it. We've got 12 of them to go through. Let's get right to it. So, first up we have number 637, Wolverine in his X-Men 2, X-Men 3, Wolverine's, Wolverine suit. Now this thing is absolutely awesome. Wolverine, as you know, one of my favorite Marvel characters. Actually, I might not ever have said that. I don't know. Let's get right to the unboxing, shall we? Now, he does not come with a base. But that's okay. As long as he's able to stand up. And it's a bobblehead. Oh, boy. He stands up pretty well, to be completely honest. That's cool. Suit is very nice. No paint defects. Hugh Jackman, one of the best Wolverines. Very cool. Very nice. 10 out of 10. Let's go on to the next one. Next up, we have number 638, Mystique, from either the second X-Men or the third one. have no idea which one. Let's get right to the unboxing. Now, I got all of these from Target.com. Some of them from Target Store, but the re I got six of them, I believe, from Target, and then six of them from Target.com. Classic Mystique pose. No base again. Very nice. Let's check for paint defects. Very cool. No paint defects. Wouldn't it be amazing if this entire line had nothing wrong with any of them? That would be fantastic, but definitely a 10 out of 10 for this one as well. Let's get right to the next one, shall we? Next we have another 6-3 Target exclusive. Now this is the metallic version of Mystique, I believe. But it does look very cool. This is a nice variant that they did. I'm going to have too many boxes around here. Oh. No base again. Oh, but this looks great. Fantastic. Holy cow. Oh, I love the candy apple red hair. That is amazing. What can I say? I'm a sucker for redheads. This thing looks absolutely amazing. She looks gorgeous. Funko Pop is hitting out of the ballpark. No mistakes on this one either. Sneak another one of my favorite Marvel characters. Not only because she can take the shape, but she can copy powers. At least make it look like she can copy the powers, especially for Wolverine. Because she's a shapeshifter. So bodily one she can copy. I don't think actually like power-based one she can, after all. Her claws, I think, were just colored bone, and when Wolverine completely cut it, oof, that was a bit, that was a bit uncomfortable. But let's get to the next one, shall we? Alright, which one is the next one? 639 is uh, Nightcrawler from the second X-Men. He's very cool. Amazing. I was kind of disappointed with his character, honestly, in the second movie. Mostly with the way they introduced him, because in all the comics, Nightcrawler is a young man. Um, very young and very joking, and this guy was just... Well, he was downright depressing, honestly. But the character design of him was cool, so there's that. And there we have him. Let's check him out. Damn, the paint on him is excellent as well. Man, Funko is hitting it out of the ballpark with these X-Men Funko Pops. 
I am impressed. I've never had this many in a row that didn't have some tiny uh, paint defects, so I'm impressed. And, in the comics, Nightcrawler is the son of Mystique. And Nightcrawler and this is super old. Well, obviously Mystique as well, if you've ever watched X-Men First Class, X-Men Apocalypse, and um, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Oh, poor, she dies. Jesus. Alright, so next one we have is number 640, Magneto. Obviously from either the first, second, or third movie. Looks more like from the second or third. Let's open up the box. Alright, man. Absolutely perfect looking. I mean, they even did the wrinkles. Well, painted the wrinkles, but that was still cool. And yet, still no base. Is this entire line not going to have a base? Wow. Thing is absolutely cool. No paint defects again. Man, Funko is literally hitting it out of the ballpark. Holy cow. Woo, man. Amazing. Let's get to the next one, shall we, guys? And now that we're finally halfway through the first batch, we have 641 Professor X. I never really ever liked Professor Xavier. Mostly because he doesn't really seem all that trustworthy to me. He's also, even though he preaches, like, all this non-violence, like, he's not really, he always sides with humans more than his own kind. And I mean, he, he sides with humanity more than mutants. And it's kind of like, you want equality, how can you show equality? If you, it's like you're almost slightly showing slight racism towards your own kind. And like, you're talking about how Mutants are scary to humans, and humans fear what they don't understand. Well, honestly, mutants are scared too when they're young. I mean, they've got all these powers, they don't know how to control them yet, they're terrified. And yeah, you turn to school, but honestly, they're still terrified kids, and you don't get all of them. Even though you sense all of them, that's got to desensitize you after a while. But let's get right back to this. Jesus, the paint on him is amazing. The wheelchair detail is absolutely amazing as well. Absolutely spectacular, super cool. I'm actually in love with this one. It looks like the best out of all of them, mostly just because it's the most detailed. Super cool. All right, to the last six of them now. Hopefully I can reach this far. Six, four, four. Six, four, two. All right, so now we have six, four, two, Storm. Now this is definitely from what I could tell from the second one, just because she has shorter hair. Well, actually, uh, the third one. She has, th uh, she has short hair in the third one. I don't think she has short hair in the second one. I can't remember. She looks absolutely amazing. I have too many boxes around here. Alright, so. Now we have Storm. And again, no base. How are you going to expect these all to stand perfectly? Very cool, though. Aw, oh, Jesus! This is why you always want a base with Funko Pops. Especially if you have shaky hands. Oh, like I do! I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn her. I'm going to have to turn her very slowly. Because she does not want to stand up. Like, again, I wasn't even checking the thing, but I'm not going to turn this anymore, mostly because one downside is this thing is very shaky and very top-heavy. Luckily, I didn't damage it at all. No scratches on the head. I'm very thankful for. Yeah, this Punko Pop looks good, but it doesn't stand very well. So if you have a base that you can maybe get, although she doesn't have any leg holes or feet holes for pegs for the bases, display this one in the box if you can. Please do. So that's definitely a 9. Definitely a 9 out of 10, so I have a 10 out of 10 like the rest. Kind of disappointing. I mean, she could stand 
Just don't put on her anything turning. Don't do anything like that. Put her back on this. Hopefully she stays standing. Man, she does not want to stay. Alright, so the next up we have the one and only Beast number 643. Now this isn't him and his suit. I'm guessing that's an exclusive version of him. I was not able to get that or find it. Uh, number 643 Beast, obviously when he is... Was he the secretary or something? I can't remember what he was. I, I can't remember what he was. Although I do like the Beast uh, more in uh, X-Men First Class, X-Men Apocalypse, than X-Men Dark Phoenix. Mostly because he looks better. He does not, he's definitely not going to need a base. His feet are thick. Jesus. Although the detail on him is absolutely amazing, I can already tell. He looks spectacular. Absolutely amazing. Man, usually when uh, pictures of glasses or anything like glass covering the face, he has got some scratches on him. He's got none. No scratches. Things absolutely amazing. The hands are detailed. Even his book or folder or whatever he's holding. This thing looks absolutely amazing. And he's heavy. He's almost as heavy as my Thanos Funko Pops, which are like the heaviest regular size Funko Pops that I have. Even heavier than Hulk. Now we have number 644, the one and only Rogue. You know, I wish in X-Men Apocalypse that they had done better in um, Rogue, the, the Rogue cut. I wish I saw more of her. She was one of my, also one of my favorites, especially the classic versions of her. The movie didn't really do her justice. Oh, she does have a base. Oh, cool. Neato! He's got a base! I love it when they have base. Alright, so here we have Rogue. Can't tell from which one. I think it's from the second one, or the third one. She's taking off one of her gloves. Although I don't know why her head is tilted. Oh no, that's just the way her hair. From the back, it looks like her head is super tilted, but she's just got flowing hair. But it looks very cool. Very nicely detailed. The paint on her is ex actually. Take that back. She's definitely got some paint feet on the shirt. I knew it was too good to be true. To have every single one of them have excellent paint, I knew it was too good to be true. And the bad thing is, you wouldn't even be able to tell unless you took it out of the box. But, so this is definitely another 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. But not to dissuade you from buying it, especially if you keep them in the box. You won't even see it. Alright, now, for the final three. Now this one has definitely been a longer one of my Funko Pop videos. And it's going to take me a while to reach. Oh, I said these too far away. Ah. I'm getting them. Alright. Alright, so 647. 645. Now we have from X-Men 3 The Last Stand, Jean Grey as the semi-dark phoenix. Not really a good dark phoenix, but a dark phoenix-esque. Before that we even knew what the dark phoenix was. Although, it was a good design, although I do like uh, X-Men Dark Phoenix better. Instead, oh, she's got an elevated base. I love those. They're so dynamic. I have a couple Funko Pops with elevated bases, and they're my favorite Funko Pops out of my collection. Just because of how dynamic it looks. Love elevated uh, bases. Ah! And they're integrated. You never have to take them off. There's no chance of them. Man, look at her flowing hair. Jesus. That is amazing.
I feel like in the newer Marvel movies, Scarlet Witch's suit is modeled after this one because there are some striking similarities. Especially in this pose. It's very cool though. It's nicely detailed. No paint fade on her. Definitely some good character design, just not good acting and not good storytelling in the first movies. Although, they haven't really changed that much. Alright, so that one was a 10 out of 10 as well. Let's get to the final two, which we have my all-time least favorite character in the X-Men universe, which is Cyclops. The ultimate douchebag. At least from these series. He gets better when he was younger, but this, he's a douche in the, uh, these ones. He does not have a base. This is definitely from the second one. Because I know in the third one he has more of a cloth jacket. And in the second one he has more of a leather jacket. But he, the, the character design of him is still pretty cool. Character wise, he's a douche. Man, this guy looks good. 10 out of 10, no paint fade as far as I can see, none whatsoever. Now these are all bobbleheads by the way, every single one except, yep, no even bases. Even Logan is, oh, oh Jesus. Oh good, no damage. To my fellow collectors out there, if you have shaky hands with action tremors like I do, be extra careful with your collection please. But yeah, 10 out of 10 for this one. I'm going to put you towards the back, Cyclops, because I don't like you. Alright, for the final one, we have number 647, Logan, when he's probably fighting the crew in uh, the, uh, the Brotherhood of Evil type thing at the end of X-Men 3, when he's in the woods, when he fights that one guy who uh, can't regrow those certain parts. Alright, come on. Huh. Wow, they really went to town on his muscle definition. Although this belt buckle is flipping hilarious. I don't know why, but his belt buckle looks like... Uh, um, I don't know what, but it looks like someone's wearing a hat. It's really funny. Although there is a paint speck on his arm. Although other than that, it looks really nice. Very nicely detailed. They even have some of his muscle structure in his arms, which is a nice added touch. Very nice. Very cool. All in all, it's a very nice Funko Pop. All of these were either very nice or nice Funko Pops, and I would recommend getting them to each and every one of you. If you get the chance, uh, get yourself a hold on, get a hold of them. Alright guys, well that was it for this video. If you like this video, hit that like button in the, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by before the end of the year. We're very, very close. And I am doing something very special for 100 subscribers. I am either, I think I'm going to do, I know for a fact, I'm going to swig like a big swig of habanero hot sauce while doing something else. So if you want to see more, make sure to uh, help us get to 100 subscribers. Check out my Twitter, check out my Patreon for a dollar a month. You support the channel, you get a shout out, and you get all of my videos a day early. So if you want to help support the channel, uh, check out my Patreon. You don't have to, but thanks if you do anyways. And as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.